Dear child of God, it takes absolute consciousness for growth, absolute consciousness for increase in the things of God to tell God to examine you. It takes the hunger and the eagerness to be the best that you want to be for God, for you to tell God to inspect you, for you to tell God to look through your life inside out and try you and test you. The psalmist came to God and said to him, Put me in the scales, O Lord. He said, So that I may be tested. Let the fire make clean my thoughts and my heart, my God. He said, Put me in your scale. Test me and try me. Put me in your scale that everything around my life that are not excellent will start checking out. He said to God, Judge me. He said to God, look into my life and everything that are not excellent, everything that are not supposed to be there, please take each and every one of them out of me. He said, O oh Lord, be my judge, for my behavior has been upright. I have put my faith in the Lord, and I am not in the danger of sleeping. My God. Dear child of God, many people are falling away. Many people are sleeping off. Many people are wavering because they have stopped allowing God to try them. They have stopped allowing God to put his test upon them. Many people are no more serving God the way they ought to serve God because they have come to that place of complacency. They have come to that place where they think they have it all worked out. They think that they have it all. And that is the moment they begin to fall. The moment you think that you have attained, dear child of God, that is the moment you begin to fall. So the word of God says, He that thinketh he stand, he that thinketh he stands, should take heed, lest he falls. God wants to bring the best out of you. God wants you to walk uprightly. God wants you to walk in the integrity of Jesus Christ. He wants the life of Christ to be found in you. And that is the more reason you should come to him and say, God, please try me. Please test me. Look at my life. Look at everything that I do and bring the best out of me. I don't want to be a disappointment to you. Maybe you're asking God today to give you the special grace and the special ability to be your best for him. God is ready. God is ready to make his best out of your life. The question is, are you ready? The question is, are you asking God to make the best out of you? The question is, are you asking God that whatever the situation is, please try me because I know when you do, I will come out as gold. Job will go speaking to God. He says that I know that when he is done trying me, when he is done testing me, I will come out as gold. Dear child of God, there is something great about your life. There is something that ought to give you the desire of God every day. But the moment you stop asking God to try you, the moment you stop asking God to search your life, to search your life and take everything that is not of God out of you, the moment you are not ready to have God do what he wants to do in your life, that is the moment you begin to fall off. He said, search me, O Lord, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. In Psalms 139 verse 23, he says, Let the secret of my heart be uncovered, and let my wandering thoughts be tested. Dear child of God, are you asking God today that uncover every secret of my heart? The things that will stand against me at the end, O Lord, please take them out of me. The things that would not in any way be good, that would be detrimental to my life. Oh Lord, please take them out of me. He said to God in sincerity, Look at me, O oh God. Look at me and know what is inside of me. You will not know everything. The people out there may not know, but you know it. The people out there may not know the things that I'm doing, but you know it. So he came to God and said, Please test me. Please try me. Judge me that I would be tested every day. That when I'm tested, I will come out as good. He was saying to God, please, I want to come out excellent. I want to have the knowledge of you. I want to have the knowledge of you. 
that will cause me to be excellent in all of my ways. Dear child of God, God wants to bring this out of your life. God wants you to be the best that he wants you to be. He said to God, see if there is any way, any way inside of me that will lead me to the path of wickedness. He said, please, if there are any offensive tendencies in my heart, if there are anything that would bring offense out of me, Lord, please cause them to go from me. Cause them to be far away from me. If there are any idolatrous tendencies in me, if there are any ways and manner in life that would cause you to turn your face away from me, that would cause you to look away from me, please take it away from my life. Could that be your prayer right now? Would you make this your prayer right now? Saying to God, please uncover everything that needs to be uncovered in my life. Probe my thought. He said to God, probe my thought. You know the intent of my heart. Probe every single one of them that I will come out pure, that I will come out the way you want me to live my life. Dear child of God, do not just have a form of godliness. Have the life of Christ. Do not just have the form of godliness that will make you look oh, that will make you look so great outwardly, that will make you look so beautiful outwardly, that will make you look so best in the face of people. But deep within, there is no life of Christ. But deep within, there is no substance of God found in you. Dear child of God, would you make this your prayer today? Asking the Lord to help you. Asking the Lord to make the best out of your life. Asking the Lord to look through you, to examine you and bring the best out of you. God wants to do that today. God wants you to be his best. God wants you to be his image on the face of the earth. God wants your life to be beautiful. That is why he's bringing this word to you today. That is why he's bringing the reminder of this word that you can be as excellent as you want to be. If you would only tell him, judge me. Judge me according to your righteousness. He said, judge me according to my integrity, to that which you have deposited in me. God is a judge and God is that righteous judge. And if you tell him sincerely, please judge me because I want to come out as excellent as you want me to be. I have this good news for you, dear child of God. Every day of your life, you will see yourself making progress with God. Every day of your life, you will see yourself scaling new height. In 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 5, and then he said, examine yourselves. Paul will go to the people and told them in 2 Corinthians 13 verse 5. He said, examine yourselves, whether ye be in the faith. He says, prove your own selves. Know ye not your own selves, how that Jesus Christ is in you, except ye be reprobate, my God. He said, examine yourself. Dear child of God, are you saying to God today, Please give me everything that I need to examine myself. Everything that I need to put in place to test myself. In Psalms 13 verse 3, the word of God says, Thou hast proved my heart. Thou hast visited me in the night. Thou hast tried me and thou hast found nothing. I am proposed that my mouth shall not transgress my God. He said, you have examined me and there is nothing found in me that is not of you. There is nothing in my life that will stand against me. This is the way you should live your life. This is the consciousness you should have, dear child of God. You see, Jesus will say very confidently that the God of this world cometh, but he has nothing in me. There is nothing of this world that would be found in me, child of God. This can be you as well. If you would only tell God today, make me the best you want me to be. Make me the true image of you on the face of the earth. Examine me every day. Cause me to live my life for you every day. And in all that I do, I would express your image on the face of the earth. In my thought, in my actions, in everything that I do, every single thing should be to your glory. I want you to know, dear child of God, the Lord will give you the understanding that you need. The Lord will strengthen you 
and all you need to have inside of you to excel, to succeed in the things of God, God will make them abundant in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God will make sure that in everything you do, you are excellent. Just tell him, search me. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Just tell him, look into my life and take everything out of me that you have not planted. Everything that would not lead me to the way of everlasting life with you, please take them out of my life. And I know God would help you. God will see you through and God will strengthen you. That the best things you ought to receive in life that are found with God and God only, you will get each and every one of them in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord strengthen you. May the Lord see you through. And may the Lord do you well. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you. And shalom.